this is Daryl London and you're watching The Gracie. encompasses what the whole album is sort of about for me, which is just kind of connecting with my amazing community of supporters. The new song, Viral, how do you see the song? Do you see it as a light song or a dark song or both? I see it as a bit of both and I like to take matters that are, you know, have a dark side and kind of pair it with a bit more upbeat or lighthearted music. So I wrote that song with my friend Robin Delunto, who's also a singer-songwriter. It's, it's a bit of both. It's critical and it's fun and um, it's just kind of honest. <laughs> supported by your family as a whole about your passion? My family has been amazingly supportive. I think part of it is that my dad is a musician also, so he totally understands that passion and having that pull to kind of follow your dream. This is one of the first songs he taught me. Um, it's by America, called Another Try, and it goes like... which I hadn't, I hadn't even thought in terms of chords because I was used to just playing the notes on a page and he showed me kind of what a pop song is comprised of and how it's chords and melody and lyrics and that kind of clicked with me and then I realized that I could write my own song. Mm -hmm. um, so ever since then I knew that that was something I wanted to pursue. It was really cool. Some of the first non-classical songs I ever learned were songs that he would play in the band because mm -hmm. those were the songs he knew how to play and a couple of them I, I still like to play and cover so it was definitely nice to have that kind of influence and be influenced by the music that he loved playing like America and the Beatles and that kind of thing. But there's something about a real piano yeah. that just has a totally different feeling. I wrote most of the new album on this and it's hard to say, you know, exactly tangibly what effect it has, but it definitely, I definitely felt inspired, you know, you can feel the vibrations, and I didn't have any noise complaints, I was really worried about that in the condo sometimes, but um, yeah, it's just nice to play on a real instrument.
Thank you for watching this episode of The Gracie Note. And a special thank you to Dara London for letting me interview you and for such great performances. You can catch her at the Richmond Hill Center for the Arts on April 16th. Follow her links here to get tickets and find out more information about her. Isn't she a great artist? Uh, and she's Canadian and she just rocks. Uh, I, can't, I can't really say anymore. She just rocks. So please subscribe. I put out new videos every Friday and special interview videos as a surprise in between. So unless you subscribe, you might miss out. So thanks again for watching and don't forget to be graceful. Bye for now.